Hello everyone, my name is Beckett and welcome back to the channel. And today in Division 2 we are going to be going over the Bell Fry League. This is the latest global event and this is the last global event for Season 3 Manhunt. So if you are struggling with finishing your Season Pass or you just need a couple extra shade levels to help you out, this is a good time to get started as well as many other things. But before we get started, if you enjoy the content, hit that subscribe and if you like the video, smash that like button. We're a small channel but we get bigger and bigger every day. Now if you're fairly new to any of these manhunt global events or just global events in general, these ones are fairly easy. We'll have two different things to do. We'll have these time trials in different missions and usually it's on hard and challenging and and there are going to be a lot of like-minded individuals in the random queue so just hop in you'll be able to get in a group and finish it within five or ten minutes and if you're a little more experienced you can solo these now when we complete these activities we'll get like badges or stars or or something to feel like we're actually doing something and it's going to be pretty easy so all you have to do is complete the missions in the time frame and it's really easy they give you two or three minutes even if you solo and die a couple times you usually can make these and don't worry if you don't complete it the first time you don't really have to go back you have two weeks and we don't have to really worry about it and before I would have said don't worry about the reward just go to rank six but with the optimization station out I am going to suggest you complete all these and when TU12 comes out just keep doing it because there's going to be so much rewards with the global event shop going up now this week it looks like it's pretty easy outcasts even though they're kind of terrible to deal with all we have to do is blind them now the best place to get this all done at is just head to federal emergency bunker on any difficulty it doesn't really matter we are just going to be blinding enemies we're just going to throw out our blinder do it a few times die rinse and repeat just don't kill the last enemy in the first little corridor you should see some footage in the background it's really easy and just rinse and repeat and you should have every one blinded or all the blind things done within 15 or 20 minutes now we also have the kill 250 elite outcast you do not need to complete this whole thing to get your challenges or to get all your rewards but if you want to and just spam it out the best way is you can either head to control points or you can hop into random heroic and do that passively not every mission will you'll run into outcasts but you'll run into them enough you can also run into summit and do that as well but the fastest way would just do control points on heroic or challenging and just spam those things out non-stop you're still getting your loot but if you hop in the summit you can pick whatever loot you want it's really up to you in the long run now let's get into the rewards since we only have a couple of global events left this is a good time to get any extra material caches get any other gear if you are still trying to get that god roll mop this is a great time or anything from bellstone armory this is a great time to get those caches very easily without any effort free gear and you just never know what you will get plus we're going to be able to get other different kind of caches as well as some collectibles now as you can see we have 10 different tiers of rewards and if you just want to do the easiest thing possible to get the most rewards or the most rewarding rewards I would just go up to tier 6 and get that named item cache and I always say this just because you can get any named item in the game it's a big loot pool but you can get things in the dark zone especially if you do not spend a lot of time in the dark zone I think the harmony drops are there's a everlasting gaze is really good for status effects there's a lot of good guns and different gear sets that drop inside the dark zone that you can't get that are named so it's always good to at least go up to tier six but we also have unmarked shade supplies the recalibration caches and the exotic caches now the one thing i would be looking for now is like the gear crafting caches as well as the recalibration caches those are going to play a big part in the upcoming patch tu12 where optimization is huge because if you do more than one or two optimizations on a piece of gear and trust me you will you are going to be spending a fortune on materials so i would just keep those caches keep them in your inventory don't even open them up you can even keep them in the mailbox i think they'll last for a while i don't think they delete they might delete so you might want to take them out if it's been more than a week but you can usually keep a lot of that stuff in there and just save it up because you're going to need a lot of materials and i don't know if we're going to get the new materials when we open up the recalibration caches when we pop into season four but it's worth finding out and worth waiting because those materials are hard to come by at the moment now that's all i have for you guys today good luck out there get all those caches make sure you save those recalibration and those gear crafting caches just Put them away, leave them in your inventory, and just wait for TU12. It will be worth it. 
Trust me. Now, if you guys are looking for build videos or anything else, I'll leave a link. Go ahead, click it out. We got tutorials, we got news, everything for new to old and everything in between. I will see you guys next time and thanks for watching.